Thank you. You're a bit popular. Crazy. <laughs> Good Thanks for having me. Thank you for joining us. You're a busy man. Yeah, been a busy few days. Yeah. <laughs> weeks, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Had third kid four weeks ago as well. So yeah. Brand new baby, Davis yeah. Cup, brand new documentary. You still doing the night feeds? <laughs> um, I haven't the last, uh, last few weeks, but yeah, it's been, um, like I said, yeah, really, really busy, but um, yeah, good. Are you managing to enjoy it? Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it's just different. It's, it's different. Uh, having two, um, our second daughter is two years old, first one is four. Um, and then sort of we're, we're sort of getting settled into a bit of a routine and then, you know, new Boom. baby and, <laughs> and it obviously changed a bit. But um, look, they're, they're great and they're all happy and healthy. So it's Which nice. is the greatest Amazing. blessing. Yeah. And Teddy's, Teddy's got, um, he's got the same middle name as you, is it? Baron? Is this, yeah. a, this is a family tradition? But I read last week you said, you're not actually that keen on the name. No, it's, it's, <laughs> not, it's not my favourite name. But yeah, all of this. So, <laughs> so my, uh, yeah, my dad's middle name, my middle name, um, my dad's dad. So yeah, it's been going on for a while. So you kind so of felt like you had to do it. So how did you out. get landed with it and not Jamie as the, as the eldest? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> His middle name is, what is it, Richard? Robert. Or Robert. 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 Okay. Yeah. Baron's I prefer, a bit I prefer Baron. Yeah. Yeah. Matches a sir, told, maybe I, better. I, I, I didn't know this until a couple of days ago, and I was told that Baron translates as young warrior, oh. supposedly, okay. which is quite cool. Quite so, apt as well. Yeah, it's a great Baron. name. What's your problem with it? It's yeah. fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> now, as Andy's one of the UK's all-time sporting greats, it's no surprise there are lots of mini Murrays out there. Yeah, it's yeah. but it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, it was really nice. Thank you. But also, they yeah, it's so touched by your your presence and your ability to express emotion, as the the yeah. lad said in particular. There, they know a lot about your career, don't they? They do. Yeah, they do. <laughs> One guy's yeah. got his mastermind yeah. subject down. <laughs> yeah, when you really when great. you were their age, I because I grew up quite near Wimbledon. I used to love in the early nineties players like Goran Ivanisevic, Pete Sampras. Your big hero was Audrey Agassi, wasn't it? Yeah. How big a fan are you? Were you of him? Yeah, I mean, I, I loved him. Um, just because he was he was quite different to kind of what Here he is, tennis look. yeah <laughs> so he he I, I used to have um, actually are they de they're, they're, I had those denim shorts they're when denim. I was a kid <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find a picture yeah. unfortunately yeah <laughs> and I also had a cap with like a, a wig kind of a blonde <laughs> ponytail and stuff at like the back a of it to, pony. yeah so that I could I could look like him but yeah fresh I, I never got the chance to play against him unfortunately but I got to practice with him a lot and he was really really nice to me when I sort of came on the the tour and went out for dinner with him um, and stuff which was was really nice amazing you got to meet your heroes yeah. now you're here to talk about your documentary which um, it's a brilliant watch and it's very very funny in places it's very very it's an amazing insight into mm -hmm. your world and it's poignant and painful and it's got a brilliant brilliant title which is resurfacing because that's what you did after the injury but it's also literally that's literally the, the name of the operation you had on your hip is that right yeah it's called yeah hip resurfacing okay surgery, did you come basically. up with a pun is that your idea of the title unfortunately not <laughs> I didn't, um, is it true you only saw it on monday yeah so I, i'd seen bits of it but i hadn't seen the the whole thing um because i, I didn't want to watch it and be I, I don't like watching myself on tv you're going to uh, hate tonight, mate. You're really... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hate it's literally it. Itching. Exactly. So, so I didn't want to watch it and be like, I oh, don't like that, but I want to change this. Don't, don't put that in. So, um, yeah, there's a few surprises in, for, in, uh, in there for me on, on Monday, but it was... It was good. People seemed to enjoy it. Yeah. I think what, what's really surprising about it, I mean, it's, it's deeply personal, it's very emotional, it's gruesome in places. Mm. Um, and many people will think of you as, as quite a private person. Yet, you're, you know, you show very intimate parts of your life. Why did you want to do it? Well, it turned out very differently to what we'd expected at the beginning. You know, I'd uh, agreed to start filming um, after I'd had my first hip operation in January of 2018. And I sort of, I was told at the time that I would have the operation and I would be rehabbing for three to four months and then I'd be back playing again. So I thought that it might be a fun thing to do whilst I'd been out to film a bit of the behind the scenes stuff, the rehab <laughs> process to getting back onto the court and then... Kill a bit of you know, time. that would be it. <laughs> but it turned into something quite a lot more than that because the surgery hadn't worked and the different procedures I had had not helped with my pain and then obviously, you know, ended up thinking that I was probably going to have to stop before I had uh, this, this operation. So if I knew that I was going to go through, through what I went through, um, like now, yeah. and you asked me, you know, would you film a documentary about it, I probably would have said no. Mm -hmm. um, 
but I think that's made it a more interesting watch than what I'd envisaged at the beginning, which might Absolutely. maybe have been interesting to a few sports people. But, you know, a lot of people who followed your career, who've seen the famous moments where you're lifting trophies at Wimbledon or at the US Open, won't know that you went through this incredible low and you had that what comes with a sporting career are these low moments. So when it, things were at their worst, how much pain were you in? Mental and yeah. physical. Yeah, I mean, I was, I was in a lot of pain. Like, you know, walking around and stuff was tough. I was... It would wake me up in the evenings. I, c I couldn't sleep properly. Um, and then, obviously, trying to play sport on top of that, like, I was... Yeah, it was uncomfortable and I was not... I stopped enjoying playing. I was not enjoying competing. Winning matches wasn't fun. And, yeah, so I was going to have to have this operation anyway. Um, but I knew that if I had it, there was a good chance that I might not be able to play again. I didn't really have many, um, you know, other people that have had it, you know, in professional sport that I could look at and go, yep, yeah, you know, they got back to, to the sport. So, um, yeah, probably de December of last year for me was probably the, the low point when I came to that realisation that I just... I couldn't really do it anymore with the, the pain. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I think the one thing that we were struck by, and it's maybe, you know, shouldn't be surprising with it, a, a professional athlete of, at your level, that kind of obsessive, almost, focus, you know, that you applied then to, to rehab and the kind of relentless monotony of trying to get yourself back to that and the toll that that takes. Yeah, and I think that, as well, like, through... through um, I don't know, through, through this period I, I saw lots of different people. I had um, did use different people to do my rehab. I obviously saw different doctors who yeah. each time you go to see them they're giving you a little bit of hope each time and you're trying a new rehab or a new procedure or new operation and nothing's working. So you're sort of getting those constant sort of, I don't know, fluctuations, Crash, those yeah. highs and lows um, kind of throughout that time and, um, you know, that's something that also made it more difficult as well. Because that's the thing, watching this documentary, what comes across, um, if you don't mind me saying, is there are a couple of different Andy Murrays. There's Andy Murray who's a dad and who's a husband and who's a very private, ferociously private person. And then there's the, the team player. And you're like the front man of a band because there are all these amazing people behind you that you're very, very close to. Your physio Shane, for instance. What, I was very consumed with the, the pain in my hip and what I was feeling and wasn't sort of thinking about how much of a strain that must have been putting on them and, and my family and the people closest to me. And uh, I've spoken to a few people that have had, you know, chronic pain and have said the same sort of thing, that you sort of become quite self selfish and... Consumed. you know, Yeah. And, um, but I realise that now, kind of reflecting on that period, that, you know, it must have been incredibly difficult for them as well, but they were amazing uh, support for me. But where are you now? What's the future hold? How fit are you? Are you going to be playing in Wilbur next year? This year? Next year? Yeah, I mean, I, I, oh, I hope so, yeah, if I'm, if I'm still... We want to see the I mean, no pressure. Yeah, if, I mean, if I'm still obviously fit and healthy, you know, it'd be brilliant to get back to, to playing the singles again there um, next year, but um, I'm just happy not, not being in pain and yeah. getting to do what I love doing, which is, is, is playing tennis and... Enjoying it again. Yeah, I mean, I would love to win big competitions again, but it's not, it's not just about that now. Yeah, I re so kind of realised that over this last, last period. Well, it's great to see you, mate, and it's great to see you in such good health. Andy's uh, documentary, Resurfacing, is fantastic. It's available on Prime Video from Friday.